What is up, ma? I hope you guys said boners, right? I hope you guys- if, if, if you did not say boners and you're new to this channel, then please subscribe. Anyways, how you guys been doing? I've been doing motherfucking fantastic, and today we have a gameplay of Domination on the map right for you guys. Hope you enjoy this commentary and this video. It's great. This is an old gameplay. You actually see me level up in this game, and I'm using, like, um... I'm using lethal kill streaks, which I don't usually do anymore. It's like old gameplay, but I almost dropped a 50 bomb, and I'm using the peacekeeper, so it's pretty interesting. Hope you guys enjoy this gameplay. Now, I've been wanting to do a true story video for a long time. I haven't done one in like two weeks now. Now I'm just trying to think of the right topic. What should I talk about? How should I how should I present this and whatnot? And uh, I, I today. I was like, I need to talk about that. At one time, I caught my parents having sex. Because this is something that, like, you know, this this happens to every kid, right? At least, I mean, I think it would, it would, it would happen to every kid. Because, I mean, you guys live in the same house. You guys are going to spend, what, the better part of 16 or 17, maybe even 18 years in the same house. Sometimes, you know, shit happens, and then you, you, you see things you shouldn't see. And then, you know what? Like, we all need to deal through it. And, and it can be a pretty traumatizing event. I know for a fact that... None of us want to imagine our parents in any sexual situation, shape, or form, all that stuff. We don't, we don't want that, but shit, you know what? So, sometimes it happens, and it happened to me. And this is the story. Fucking tack inserts. Alright, so, I think I was, well, like, I think I was probably like 15 or 16 years old. And uh, here's something about me is I get migraines sometimes. Like, uh, this is an old story I, I told a long time ago, but I got a migraine playing hockey, and uh, it, it, every now and again, it happens, I'll get, like, migraines. It's, like, the only time I really like to take medicine for whatever reason. So, anyways, back to my story. 15 years old, and the way that the house is made, or the house is built, and, and, and this changed, I think, when I was 16 or 17, because I moved downstairs. But anyways, I was sleeping upstairs. And uh, the way the house was built was there was uh, one room of separation between me and my parents' room. So it was my room, the bathroom, and my parents' room. And I would estimate both doors, like the distance between both doors, and they were looking at each other. So both doors were facing each other. Kind of a weird house. Uh, house. I was, it was weird. Anyways, um, it was about probably like the, like the width of a bathroom. So like... What, like 10 feet? Like a normal bathroom is what, like 10 feet wide? Like, that's like the maximum distance between my door to my room and the door to my parents' room. Late, later on that year, I think I got so traumatized that I moved downstairs. There was a bedroom downstairs that was kind of like a playroom type deal. Like, we had like video games and like, I don't know. I, 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 <laughs> funny story, I actually had a swing in my, in my room. It was, it was weird. Anyways, so I moved downstairs after that. But during that time, sleeping upstairs. And I'll get these mind grades, right? So it's just one night, and I'm like, I'm like 15 years old, trying to go to bed, trying to sleep. You know, my TV's off. I like, I'm still at that age where I can like sneak up, like, and stay past my sleep time because my or, again, I'm I'm so close to my parents' room. But I have this raging headache, right? Not a raging boner, a fucking raging headache. And I'm in my room, and I can't sleep, and I can't do anything about it. And it's like I need. I need med uh, medicine, I need to take something, maybe take some Tylenol, do something. And I, I, at 15, my parents were really, really overprotective about a lot of things. They, like, until the age of, like, 17 years was I not allowed to do, like, certain things, take liberties and whatnot. You know, my parents always wanted me, like, not leave too far. And I got a phone really early because, you know, they need to check up on where I was. And sleepovers were, like, forbidden until, like, you know, I got older and shit. They were really, really strict about me. So, when it came to, like, taking medicine, they didn't trust me at all. They were like, I mean, probably right, rightly so, right? Because I'm not somebody to be trusted with in the first place. Anyhow. So, to take Tylenol, to take any type of medicine, I needed to talk to my parents, right? I, I needed to confirm, be like, yo, I, I, I need some cough medicine, I need something, I need syrup, whatever. And uh, in this case, I needed Tylenol. So, I'm like, alright. I guess it's time to go talk to my parents, ask them if, you know, I can take Tylenol. It's like 10, maybe 11 p.m. My bedtime is usually like 9, so I've been in bed for like 2 hours. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm not one to make a lot of noise, right? So, like, they probably could think that I was sleeping. The TV was on in their room. I could, like, overhear, like, the mumbling of the TV or whatever was on the channel that day. So, I'm there, and I, I get up, and I creep, and I... I'm not making a lot of noise, I'm a small dude, so I get up to my parents' room, and the door is not closed, not open, it's halfway there, right? It's, it's like, I can fit my feet inside the door, jam, like I, like, I can fit my feet inside there, not more. 
So I don't knock, right? Like usually I would knock. Like if the door was closed, I knock, right? But the door is not closed. It's kind of open. And if I knock, it's gonna open the door anyways. It's like, what do I do? So I just, I, I don't think anything of it, cause for me, my parents and sex does not even equate to anything in my life. So it's like whatever. I just open the door, and boom, I see my dad. I God, I hope they don't watch this. For fuck's sake, I hope they don't. I see my dad laying on the bed, you know, flat down. Back, you know, his on, on his back, my mom on top of my dad, but thankful, like, thank fucking God. Like, this is, like, the most, the best thing that graced me in this situation. Um, they were, they, they had covers, like, they had the blanket over my mom, right? So all I actually saw was my mom on top with both her hands on my dad's chest and I could definitely, like, there was no doubt about it. I could definitely tell that there was some riding going on. But no nudity was observed, right? But it was clear to me. And, then, like, the, uh, by the way, this happened for, like, a split second. Like, like a microsecond. This was, like, so short. Because the second I saw that, it was, like, instinct, right? Like, like you know how an animal sometimes, when, whenever he's feared, like, he knows exactly what to do, right? Fight or flight. Like, the guy, he, wa he wants to attack. Like, my, my, my immediate gut, like, instinctual reaction at that point in time was flight. Like, get the fuck out of there. ASAP. Just run. And, like, I didn't even say a word, right? I peeked my head in, was about to say, hey, can I get some Tylenol? And then it was just, it ended up being like, <gasps> and then... Quickly get my head out of there, close the door to what it usually was, like the, with the foot, the, the space there with the foot, and then go back to bed. But, like, at that point, I can't sleep, right? Like, there's nothing I can fucking do. Like, I, like, my, 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 my eyes have been burnt with this image of my mom riding, and, oh my god, it's ter- it's god awful. It's like, they weren't making any sounds, but, like, her back was to me anyway, so nobody saw anything except for me, and they don't even know what the fuck. So, like, I'm, like, waiting there for, like, 45 minutes, and I still have this raging migraine. It, it, like, this didn't help, this didn't solve my problem at all. If anything, it probably made it fucking worse, right? This is terrible. So at this point, I'm like, I still need to get my fucking Tylenol. So 45 minutes after the fact, I get out of bed, and I'm like, all right, they have to be done, right? They aren't like these stallions of a fucking, like, you know, porn actors. Like, this isn't happening. Like, this is whatever. So I get up, go back to the room, open the door. And this, I think, is even worse than actually seeing them having sex. I saw my dad, he's laying topless, which is fine, right? He's laying topless on the bed, and he's, like, scratching his chest like a fucking gorilla. And and my mom is on the other side of the bed, and they have, like, three feet of separation. It was, it was, it was a big bed. They have, like, three feet of separation, and she's smoking a cigarette. And my dad has, like, the biggest grin on his face, and I, and I, I get in there, and I'm like, can I have a Tylenol? My head hurts. I mean, my, 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 my mom and dad both answer, like, in unison. They go... Yeah, yeah, whatever, just take a Tylenol. Like, throwing me off, it was whatever. And it was just, like, the weirdest moment. And, and you know what, like, now, having had sex, you know, having been, you know, wow, having had sex makes no sense. But, like, now knowing what the feeling is after having sex, I can totally understand why they blew me off. And that was just, wow, weird as fuck. But I got my Tylenol, and my head is fine now. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that. was fucked up. Just my motherfucking pants, but hit that shit. Bye, bye, a penis. Well, 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 we meet again, actually. <laughs> if uh, you guys are still here, uh, you probably enjoyed the video, so might as well thumbs it up, do all that good stuff, share, like, comment, all that good stuff, because we need the channel to grow, kind of like my penis. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys missed uh, last my, my last video, it's a video I did on Sunday, which is a QA. and a it, It's always on Sundays, and this Sunday I actually answered the question as to why I always talk about sex. And sex so much, and sex this, sex that. Well, actually, I talked about it in uh, Sunday's video, so it's on the screen right now. Go click on that. Every link you see on, on the screen is also in the description down below. Go check those out. Hope you guys enjoyed. Mr. Try Hard. Bye, bye, and see you tomorrow.